Hello and welcome. Today we have another half-life question that we're going to need to solve using logarithms. So seven ounces of a radioactive substance were left in your sister's handbag at a party. After eight hours, only two ounces of the same substance were left. What is the half-life of the substance? So here's the half-life formula. And I want to make sure that everybody really understands every element that we have here. This right here is the, in, uh, the final quantity, this A. This A0 represents the initial quantity. Big T represents the half-life in, in terms of time, and little t represents time. Time that essentially goes by, in this case, the 8 hours. That's the 8 right here. Now, this is the question mark. That's what we don't know. Um, 7 ounces is the A0, and 2 ounces is the A on the left-hand side here. So we have 2 equals 7 times 0.5 to the power of 8 over big T, and that's what we want to solve for. So, I'm going to get started by dividing both sides of the equation by 7. So we have 2 over 7 equals half to the power of 8 over T. And now what I will need to do is, in order to solve for T, I need to take the log of both sides of the equation. There's no other way to solve for this, except for guessing and checking, which would take a while. And we don't like to do that. So I'm going to take this, bring this down. Right, That's a property of logarithms. If you need to refresh on the properties of logarithms, of course, you can visit our website. We have many videos on that. And uh, here we have 8 over t times the log of half and log of 2 over 7 over here. Now, uh, oh, well, this is getting a bit messy, but that's okay, I guess. As long as it makes sense to everyone. And I want to isolate t, so I will need to multiply both sides of the equation by t, so that it disappears over here. So I have t times the log of 2 over 7 equals 8 log half. And I will rewrite this, because it's getting a bit too messy for my liking. And I have 8 log half. Then I'll just divide both sides of the equation by log of 2 over 7. So t is equal to 8 log half over log of 2 over 7. And now let me quickly plug that into the calculator to evaluate it. So we have 8 log half over log 2 over 7. And we get approximately 4.43 and so the 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 half-life of the substance was four is about 4.43 hours if we want the 0.43 in terms of in terms of minutes what I can do is that I can multiply the 0.43 by 60 and get approximately 25 and a half so around four hours and 26 minutes Approximately. That is the half-life of the substance, and that's it.